Hey, hey, happy day. Uh, we need to talk, which is exactly my subject that I'd like to chew on. So it has to do with communication. So um, I have found a lot of frustration when dealing with Joe Public uh, when it comes to the art of communication. So I'd like to just give those of you who struggle with that a few pointers, um, a few helpful pointers. So I get messages like this. Hi, what massage do you do? That's it. And then let's take it up a notch. So the next uh, an improvement on that would be Hi, uh, I heard you do massage. Please could you give me more information? It's Beth. Cool. So in the first message, I, all I know is you want, you don't have no idea what uh, you want massage. That's all you know. Um, maybe you know what massage you want or what massage you've had before or what massage you think you might like to have um, but you can see right there all we have is a concept uh, no content uh, then the second one we have uh, the concept and we have a subject then the next uh, level up from that would be hi Nikki B it's Bob I got your details from Harry uh, he says that you do massage do you think you can help now we've got uh, context, uh, context we've got uh, content a uh, little content not much and uh, we have subject then we level up and leveling up would be Hi Nikki B, this is Sue, got your number from Verge, she says you do reflexology, I'd love to book in for a session, um, I am available XYZ, or when do you have availability? So now we have a context, we have a little, well, we have a whole lot more content, we have a subject, we have um time we have uh, yeah a lot more so do you understand that when you c communicate with someone and you're seeking information you need to identify yourself you need to explain how and why this person came into your frame of reference is it a service they offer is it a product they offer Often, if it's a reference, it does everyone a good service to mention who. Word of mouth is always a good form, well, the best form of marketing. And it's a kindness to mention who uh, referred you. Because some people do this a lot and they sometimes need to be recognized for the efforts that they play invisibly in your business. And, uh, you know, it's a bit like positive uh, parenting so when children are uh, ignored they will misbehave in order to get attention and over time they will learn if I misbehave or if I do something wrong that's when I can uh, become the main subject and the main role play around here so they learn a very negative feedback cycle whereas if they were sitting quietly or being good or behaving in a way that uh, you appreciate and wanted to reinforce then when they were doing that, you would really praise them and reward them and recognize them and validate that that's exactly what you want. So they would then become conditioned into understanding what it is that, uh, what how the gameplay is, what the rules of engagement are. It's much easier without the guesswork. So when you're engaging with someone, they, again, um, the ways and hows of how this connection happened, then you need to um, indicate to them what it is that you require so that they can determine if they are able to meet your needs and as many specifications as possible. Are you, are you someone who needs lymph drainage because you have some form of uh, disease? Perhaps you have lymph nodes removed because of breast cancer. Are there considerations? You know, these things will come into play often. And, uh, you know, then 
it's location and time and uh, finding the a mutually beneficial arrangement that agrees with everyone time place everything um price and everyone understands the again the game plan and the rules of engagement so when you go in with less information you're making it harder for someone else and you actually become hard work so i always feel like if you want the best response from people is give them uh, as much information as they might need so that there's less back and forth meaning uh, when they come back they can give you everything they feel you need and it's so much easier to work uh, in that way I think it's a form of laziness I think it's disrespectful when you just uh, don't bother to figure out exactly what it is that you want and need and you just kind of like are being around um, for business owners and particularly small business owners such as myself service providers uh, we make appointments so our time is uh, schedule based and uh, diary based no I can't just fit you in today because other than I probably already have uh, because I'm good at what I do I'm probably already have appointments today in fact I probably have appointments for the next three days and it's best to uh, try and book either in at least three days in advance in order to secure um, a time that's convenient for you uh, or for both of us um, but uh, you see I'm ranting so I lose my brain is firing on all cylinders but I really feel like we all need to try and make each other's lives simpler not harder everybody's lives are already hard why can't we all just make a little effort to make each other's lives as easy as possible this way everyone's happier everyone's got more time for pleasure every it's just easier <laughs> this is what I don't understand about people is um, if you're going through life and it's shitty for you and you're making it shitty for others it's just shitty if you go through life making it beautiful for others it as a natural course of events becomes beautiful for you it's so rich and filled with blessings and abundance you, you it's easy just be kind and caring and uh, you don't have to give any fucks but you do have to do no harm body mind nor spirit so uh, this is your lesson in communication and my rant over hopefully in future when um, people deal with each other we can catch a little wake up and actually grow up and deal with each other as responsible autonomous uh, interdependent uh, decent human beings so namaste in the cage have a happy day